stood shoulder to shoulder with us, and I can say that firsthand. Though not just words, but actions, the governor has sent a message across our nation that this state will not tolerate bigotry or discrimination in any form. He has affirmed that in New York, you have the right to live free. And that is something I think we can all be thankful for. Now across this country, people look to New York as a leader in the progressive and LGBT movement. Governor Cuomo is our friend and a national champion for the LGBT rights movement. Please join me in welcoming our friend, Governor Cuomo. Thank you. Thank you. First, to Eunuch Ortiz and all the people who work so you hard You have failed those of us that go with HIV and this.
this evening, let us follow Martin Luther King's words when he said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. Let's Let us heed the words. Let us heed the words of James Baldwin. Love does not begin and end the way we think it does. Love is a battle. Love is a war. And it is a war we cannot lose. Let's do, let's do, my friends, what New York does at its best. What we do at our best is we rise to the occasion and we show the way forward. That's what we did when we were the first big state to pass marriage equality, and it rippled all across this nation. That's what we did when we stood up as a state and we passed gender, and it rippled all across this nation. When we passed the hate crimes law, that is the strongest in the United States, and it rippled all across this nation. When we stood up and banned conversion therapy, and it rippled all <laughs> New York, New York is not just another state, he says as an arrogant New Yorker. <laughs> New York is different, and New York is special, and when New York talks, and New York speaks, and New York leads, the other states take notice. Let's say tonight, with this emotion we feel, this is the day that the federal government must promise us that they will pass sensible gun control. tonight, you haven't caused us fear. You have caused us to be more unified than ever before. And let's pledge tonight to have the largest pride parade in history. better than ever before. Let us make Stonewall not just a national monument, but an international symbol for all to know that freedom started here in 1969. And it moved this state, and this state moved this nation, and we will not stop until we have freedom for Let us recommit ourselves tonight, as we are here. Let us join hands one with the other, and let us say to the world, we believe in New York. We are all in this together. We are all one. We are a family of New Yorkers. We are a community. And there is a cord that connects you to you to you to you, and maybe you can't see it. Maybe it's an invisible cord, but it is there. And it connects us, and the cord weaves a fabric. And we believe in New York, when one of us is raised, we are all raised. And when one of us is lowered, we are all lowered. And we believe in New York, that an attack on any of us is an attack on all of us. And that's what you would do. Tell our enemies, 
We do not fear you. We pity you. And you have not struck terror into our hearts. You have unified our hearts. And New York promises Orlando and every community across this globe that we stand more united today, more committed today to the fight for individual freedom than ever before. No one's going to tell us who we are or how to live our lives or the person we were meant to be. That's what New York is all about. And we promise to rededicate ourselves to the cause of freedom together as one. God bless you.